Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Harp Realtors. Today I've got, I'm uh, showing homes for my client that's coming in from out of state and he's really taken a liking to this house in the Rockwall Ranch community, uh, kind of in between Garden Ridge and New Braunfels. So I wanted to show, do a video tour for him. This house was built in 2008, just over 4,600 square feet. It's got a gorgeous pool, three bedrooms, four baths, and two offices. Let's go start the tour outside. All right, beautiful home, lots of stone on the outside. Of course, we got a landscape guy doing his thing, but tons of oak trees in this community. This is a quiet community. Uh, we've been looking in all over New Braunfels the last two days. But yeah, my client said he really does like the quietness and the serenity of this uh, community. It is convenient to everything in like the Northeast San Antonio and uh, New Braunfels, because you can really get anywhere from here. Love the driveway, it does go into a three car garage. So that's kind of really nice. Has a uh, metal roof on it that looks in pretty good shape, but I'm not a roofer. But yeah, the inside definitely needs a little bit of updating. It's a little dark in there for my client's taste, but that, that's not that big of a, worried not to buy the house but checking off a lot of his boxes but yeah let's head on inside this beautiful home and if you're seeing this that means my client has either gotten this house under contract or he decided to pass on it and the listing agent has given me the green light to go ahead and make this public speaking of which shout out to terry mckenzie for from remax for uh, having me show this house and if you happen to hit that like button feel free to do so going on inside beautiful doors here we do have some doggy poos uh in the office there but at first they were barking now they've kind of gotten used to us but yeah, check out this entrance beautiful entrance love this and the flooring uh if you saw this online it looks a little different but once you come in it's like wow that's a really cool tile floor and if you're looking for a texas -y house i am calling that a word this is definitely a texan house really cool uh dining room space love the chandelier and the wall the roof covers up top but yeah beautifully done but we can't go into the office yet because we got the pooches in there but we can do a little looky poo and see the office but got a little chandelier in the office as well tall ceilings in there really nice and you're gonna see horse saddles all over the place but I actually do like the rock that's the same rock on the outside that's inside but you can tell it's a little bit dark and my client's talking about if he repaints it to a lighter paint wall color it might brighten this place up a little bit but you can see lots and lots of living space in here got a full-size couch and a love seat in there stone fireplace really nicely done but yeah check out this kitchen this kitchen is really unique glad they got some outlets in the floors um so you got a really long island coming out from the wall and another island in the middle or yeah this is really neat ornamental granite uh it's kind of a level two granite that can be upgraded if wanted to be but you got a porcelain sink Kind of views of everything around here and we'll get to the pool in a little bit my clients outside talking to his uh girlfriend at the moment but uh some nice built-in appliances got your microwave your oven you're kind of warmer there another oven and a cooktop um we did find a propane tank outside so that's definitely the question is can you replace that electric cooktop with a gas let's see if these are what i think they are nope okay there we go uh a spice rack up there and yeah i'm sure this comes out too but there it is just a little heavy got some spice racks olive oil things more counter space more ornamental granite here is your kind of hidden away pantry plenty good space inside there lots and lots of racks all right we've got kind of a little uh prep area well that's loud nice little prep area with space for another refrigerator 
another sink and another dishwasher so yeah if you're hosting parties you can do a lot of your stuff in here have your um put let's go, great place to put your dirty dishes so they're not out in the main living space let's check out the garage so you're gonna have your single bay over there with a exit out to the backyard and a pretty decent size garage coming through here with some extra workspace does have a water softener and I saw the water heater somewhere else. Okay, just more storage. Cool, cool. All right, another listing agent's calling me. Let me see. All right, I'll call him back in a second. But I do like how this is kind of all rocked in there. This is going to be your dining room space or breakfast nook if you wanted it to be. But here's the other office. Like I mentioned, we got two offices, plenty of space, and uh, some more built-in storage in here. All right, let's check out the secondary bedrooms. That's going to go up to a neat little loft space. Definitely can tell the carpet needs some updating. But... Curious to see what's back here. This is probably coming in. Oh, also from the garage. Two doors coming in for garage because you got your mud room right here. And this is probably going to be, nope, more storage. But is this the laundry room? Nope, just more storage. Okay. Lots of storage in this house. Okay, we got some Jack and Jill bedroom setups over here. Let's go hit this bedroom first. Nice size bedroom, good size closet in there. And let's go through this door to go to this bathroom. Oh, we, we relocked it. Okay, let's go the other way. All right, this is one of the secondary bedrooms. Beautifully done flooring. Got some, uh, a lot of the stuff can be a dark trim work all around everything, but this bathroom, the who's ever living here is gonna have their own private sink and toilet, pocket doors going into this uh, kind of shared with nice little arch thing set up there. A lot of tile work on here, kind of cool. All right, and then we got this bathroom. Sorry, I turned the lights off. Okay. Now this shared bathroom and this door goes into that room we were just in a second ago but they'll have their own private sink and private toilet all right let's go upstairs real quick I'm trying to make my, make this video not crazy long because we're going to run out of time during this showing all right, lots of space, lots of different options you can do up here. So they're using this kind of living room space that opens up to the attic with lots of like Halloween decorations in here. We got kind of a little closet space over here, a little work spot and a sink with a, another refrigerator and a whole another full bath, I mean full shower up here. Kind of cool. There we go, we gotta open that up. And another beautifully done shower with a step. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, we're now downstairs. Let's go show off the back outdoor area because man, there's a lot of entertainment possibilities in this house. All right. Some stuff does need to be fixed up a little bit, but uh, definitely clean up some of the stuff in the outdoor kitchen. I already checked the grill. Definitely needs a little uh, tender love and care, but we got a place for the TV out here. Lots of shaded place. The sun does set off in this side, but as you can tell, it's not an issue because there's just so many trees out here that you're not really concerned where the sun's setting. That goes into the master bedroom. The white door has a water heater in it. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool space. And this house was built in 2008, so there's gonna be some touch-ups needed. 
I noted on um, this uh, stucco for the kitchen area, definitely got some cracks and stuff. We'll have to get somebody out here to kind of take a look at that. Give us an estimate on repair. It's on an aseptic tank, which you're just gonna see back this way. But yeah, definitely love this pool. Love the little gradual going down and then it drops off. You really can't see your neighbors from in here because there's just so many oak trees all around. Really nice and done, of course. We got a hot tub. And you can see they got a little fire pit section back that away. Another look at the metal roof going all the way around the house. We yeah, have very cool outdoor entertainment space. Does have some dog scratches on all these doors because yeah, you saw we got dogs out there. But all that stuff can be repaired. All right, let's head on into the other wing of the house. Gonna be your master bedroom set up. Oh, this is also kind of neat. Uh, this is a kind of a bathroom just for people. It's gonna be your powder room for your main guest, kind of separated, but you've got a full shower in here as well for folks that are uh, coming in for the pool. So that's kind of neat too. But it's nice having the powder room a little bit around the corner and away from your main guest. But this is coming in through these uh, French doors to the master bedroom suite area. So love, definitely love these hardwood floors. We actually have a coffee section where you plug your coffee pot in, fill your coffee pot up with water and have cold drinks right there as well. Really cool. Definitely could use a few more lights in here. They did paint this a dark chocolate brown, which was kind of the style in the 2008 area, but paint's not that expensive. Here's your French doors leading out to the pool area. As I'm filming it, this is August, 2024. You don't want those doors open right now, but man, in the fall or springtime, not a bad way to start your day. All right, you could always, they got nice, oh, don't wanna show family pictures. That's invasion of privacy, but yeah, check out this uh, bathroom. Tons of space in this bathroom. We have a hit, her vanity, cause you got your makeup station, nice lighting in here. The other vanity, no, I did not put that toilet seat down, but you do have your water closet space. Big, big old closet in here. Nice little place where you put your underwear and socks in here so you don't have to go having that all over the place. So it's nice to have that. But yeah, lots and lots of closet space in this master bedroom. And then the shower. I'm trying to find the light for this and I haven't found it, but uh, Hopefully you can see it okay. Like yeah, it's uh, all stone. There's one light up there, but uh, this is for my client. He's already seen inside there. All right. Definitely, my client's definitely interested in this house. We'll just kind of have to see how things go. One last little look around between the entrance, dining room, kitchen space, and the main living space. All right, that's gonna do it for the tour of this pre-existing home in Rockwall Ranch community in New Braunfels, Texas, kind of real close to Garden Ridge. But I really do like this house and hopefully my client's gonna share this video with everybody he knows uh, from where he's from. So if they're also considering following him to Texas, they see this video and they'll give me a call because I'm a realtor who helps people relocate to the area. My contact information will be in the description box. By the way, that's how my client reached out to me. He saw my videos, he gave me a call, and now we've been having a great time touring the Texas Hill Country, trying to find him a wonderful place for his uh, vacation home in the Texas Hill Country. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Most importantly, yeah, keep sharing these videos. All right, take care now, bye.